welcome all my name is dr seema maitre working as an assistant professor in department of computer science and engineering in kite group of institutions i am going to teach you the subject web technology its code is kcs 6 Dear students, uh, today I am going to cover the following topics: history of internet and web, protocols governing web, writing web projects, and web development strategies. So let's begin with internet. What is an internet? It is an utility connecting localized computer networks with computer networks that extend across a wide area like a region or a continent. the term internet comes out of the concept of internet working two recent adaptation of internet technologies are intranet and extranet intranet it basically belong to an internal private network built within an organization using internet and www standards that allows employees of an organization to gain access to corporate information and the extranet is such a network that is accessible only to the members of an organization and external members with logins next the history of internet the internet grew out of many developments in computer networking and communication research early projects undertaken in early 1960s by the us military known as darpanet started with a dozen of network computer system of universities and institutions allowing computers to be shared only people in the government military and academic had access to the network in 1991 the national science foundation allowed commercial access to the network with this all kinds of agencies began to use the internet to communicate exchange data and distribute information so isps are required now so what about the isps they are the internet service provider their role is it is a company that provides individuals and other companies access to the internet and other related services such as website development and hosting the larger isps have their own high speed lease lines and can provide better service to their customers commercial ones out of them are www.al.com join.msn.com www.netzero.com www.guno.com and many more world wide web what is www basically it is a pair of soft applications which allow both distribution of and access to the information on the internet the web is not to be confused with the internet it is not internet but a means of distributing and accessing the information that is available on it now the evolution the history of www introduced in 1990 by tim berners lee of san geneva it makes information instantly and conveniently available to anyone with a connection communities can stay in touch with one another researchers can learn of scientific and academic breakthroughs worldwide now there are certain protocols governing this web what is a web what is a protocol basically it is a set of rules that is used to communicate application to each other now some list of the protocols here are tcp ip udp ftp http smtp telnet so i will come all these protocols one by one what about tcp ip tcp ip is transmission control protocol ip is internet protocol what are they set of protocols allow computers to share resources across a network they provide a few basic services like the file transfer electronic mail remote login etc across a network it is connection oriented protocol and stateful protocol udp that will be user datagram protocol it is a simple connectionless alternative to tcp used in many internet applications that require only simple 
query or response. FTP file transfer protocol. It is the standard used to transfer file over the internet. It is a stateful protocol. Now HTTP hypertext transfer protocol. It is a set of rules for exchanging files including text, graphic, images, sound, video and other multimedia file on World Wide Web. It is a stateless protocol means request is considered as the new request. In other words, server doesn't recognize the user by default. It is a request response protocol. It uses the reliable TCP connection by default on TCP port 80. We can display, we can view how the client make a request to the server and the server send the response with the help of this HTTP. So here it is the client. It is the server making a request to the server and in return it is giving a response to the client. Now the methods of HTTP. So certain methods are there like get, post, head, trace, put, delete and options. There are certain somewhat similarities and they are basically all these methods are helping the HTTP in making the request response success. SMTP, simple mail transfer protocol. It is the standard protocol used to exchange internet mail between TCP IP host. It is also known as message handling systems. Telnet. Telnet lets you remotely log in into another system and browse files and directories on that remote system. Now, the next topic is the web projects. Basically, what is a web project? There is another project developments, software developments are there. So, what is the difference between those? Let's begin. Web project development is different from other software development projects in terms of these following things such as development time is much smaller for these web projects around three to six months team of web project changes on project basis rapid changing technologies they require phases of web projects the first one is project mission statement which include the specific mission statement that you want to do identify objective which must be specific, measurable, attainable, realistic versus and the time limited. Identify the target user. This is totally depend upon market research, focus group, understanding the audiences. Determine the scope by supporting documents and client's approval. Budget. Here we make the assumption of budgets, budget categories, determine hidden cost and tools, planning issues. It discuss client's existing information system, project team and developing infrastructure. And finally, where to place the website. Difference between the web project and the traditional project. That includes certain points such as the web project. It has attractive GUI, but in traditional GUI is not good looking. Here, functionality is public oriented while the traditional project it basically defined to an organization. Here, beta, uh, beta technologies are used, whereas here, mature technologies are used. Globally, usable, hence less secured, it is more secured. Pricing model does not exist in web project, whereas it exists in the traditional project. In web project, team members are less specialized, whereas in traditional project, Team roles are more specialized. In web projects, after completion, change is possible. There is a flexibility. But in traditional project, there is no frequent changes allowed. In web project, clients are often unwilling to bear the cost of web development. Whereas in the traditional project, clients make all the expenses related to the project development. In web project, Project manager has the full responsibility of the project, whereas in traditional project, various managers are there 
at different levels who have the responsibility of the project development now the web, web team it there can be two types of web teams one is service side service side web team are hired by a company to develop a website whereas for the client side client side web teams are part of company that is putting together the website be it on the service side or the client side the web team should have certain points that are strong strategic components strong content management production process and it component now the core team and the extension team what they include in the core team it includes the project managers technical leader web production specialist creative header designers production artist quality assurance leader whereas in extended team leader it includes account manager programmer network engineer information architect copywriter and tester web development another topic we will discuss it referred to building website and deploying on the web it requires use of scripting language both at the server end as well as at the client end these are the certain points during the web development client side coding it include ajax flash javascript jquery and html5 css3 all these things in the server side coding asp cold fusion cgi php python ruby java.net and in client plus server side coding we require google web toolkit dart opa tarsus web development process what does it include it includes certain phases in case of the strategy it determines the goals and objective team building research and review project proposal then in design and specification it include developing concept content planning rough design final design in produced desired result it include build prototype prototype testing original design satisfy the client's need after that it is followed by testing and maintenance which include test the code maintain the web server then register with isp that will be register domain name get web space and finally launch that means connect domain name and with the web server finally host the web accordingly that's all for today thank you